Bang, I didn't have a job. Education is key to success. We have a product in the same. Oh, yeah. Each one. Have to teach one. Must bump the sun. Sisani ya Afrika Boro. Ibo emo mabo shano kapapiso le fasi kabo par kamu nono ofite lezing elung obesity. Bashula fela ki mafasi akan USA, Canada li UK. Kwa maka za hore na hain eo bonga dabona li le kwemela dijo. Rana li perasente se shano za basha nyana. Li se mashume ama beji amezo ime shano za bana nyana banyo nyong hofita tekana. Mabaka asena ega tloha eli li fuzo. Empa mo nono ofi tisi sang oba piso lo se jehande kapa mo hawa bo pe. Reyati ba rohoja di jose salogang ma holo si kuti si huti sa di tamara jose salogang se kabe ama pelo abana barona tukuti. Hoba ni abana barona baja ofi tetekan. Ena kipuzo etha tau arabe. Hanga ta hona ho ba ka ke mabaka a kang dikamalo ka malapeng tlwantshano maikutlong le tabatabelo ya ho amohelwa sechabeng empa hona ho fapana ngwana ka mo me ha re sa fumane sesusa re ke ke ra fetola ditla morao Hello I'm Kalilo Cyrus Welcome to Each One Teach One Our relationships with food are complex and often go far beyond our nutritional needs. Young women are particularly at risk of aberrant eating habits and disorders such as anorexia, bulimia, and obesity. These disorders are often rooted in unresolved emotional issues. Today, mother and daughter, Khamutso and Lelo, will share their struggle to keep Lelo's overeating and resulting obesity in check. Hi, Leilo. Hello, sir. How are you today? I'm quite nervous, but I'm great. I'm okay. Good, good. What school do you attend? I'm attending Zimisele Secondary School. Okay, and what grade? I'm doing my trick grade 12. Are you excited about it? I am excited, but a little bit nervous. Yeah. Some say it's a bit hectic and tough, but I think I'll make it. I'm sure I'll make it. What is it really that you want to do when you... I was thinking of doing law. I want to, I want to be a lawyer. Oh. So I'm thinking of doing law, go to university and study law. Okay. So it's my dream to be a lawyer. Wonderful. Now. I understand that you have had some challenges around um, school and family and what is, can you tell me a, a little bit about uh, what it's been, what exactly has, have, have been the challenges? At school, I do have so many friends, but sometimes I get the feeling that I'm not accepted for being overweight. Some people look at me as if I'm different. Some people will say things to me that I don't like. Like they'll say, oh, you look bad. And when families come, when, when families come here at home, they will say things like, oh, you're bigger than your mom now. What's going on? You should lose weight, things like that. So, yeah, and I try to avoid those things so that I can, so that I can make it in life yeah. to achieve in school. But sometimes it gets to me where, whereby I'm going to sit alone and be away from everybody else. How long has this been going on? I think instead of when I was doing grade six, I put on some slight change, I gained weight, and I didn't notice it. I ignored it, we moved, the family matters, we have to move to other places. And then that's when I started gaining more weight. I went to clinic once I was sick with flu and some nurse told me that I'm, I'm, I'm a bit overweight and I should try to exercise because it, it might affect my health. 
I didn't take it seriously because I knew that I walked uh, more distances from home to school. So since then, I've been putting on some weight and it's, it's been affecting me. Yeah. It's been affecting me because sometimes I have clothes that don't fit me. Yeah. Yes. So um, at home, how has your mother responded to uh, the issue of your weight? My mom is, is an amazing person. She supports me and since 2013, we talked about my weight issue and she has tried to support me. I've tried so many methods of losing weight, but I end up giving up because I don't know, I feel like I'm being pressured sometimes to do things that I, I don't want to do. And um, your father, uh, is your father around? No, my father is not around. I last saw him first time, I think March in 2014. 2014. And he hasn't called, hasn't SMS or anything. He doesn't, I sometimes think that he doesn't care because he never calls, even though I try to reach out to him. I end up being sad because he doesn't bother to even ask me how I'm doing at school. I, I really miss him. I do need the father figure. It's okay. <sighs> I just wish he was here to, just to advise me and to be strong and everything, because it's hard. Have you, tried, have you tried to reach out to him? I have so many times. He has this tendency of, of making promises he can keep. He'll say, oh, I'll come visit, or I'll send you money so for school. I do need school things, but he doesn't keep his promise that says, it's hard without him. Do you think that the um, relationship with your father and him not being here has any impact on your eating or any of that? I, I think so. Because I remember he called me and said that, or well, I called him and told him we were struggling at home, we didn't have any food, and he told me that he'll send me money on Saturday. And then on that day I tried calling him and then he wouldn't pick up the call until he closed his phone. And then my mom went, my mom ends up going to, to borrow money yeah. so that he can feed us. And what I do is when, when I'm alone at home, I tend to eat a lot, mm -hmm. just to, to, to mend my heart from all this pain and the stress. Is there anything else that you think you can do? I think one thing that keeps me motivated is school. When I'm stressed and worried, I just read my books and I love doing poetry. So when I'm, I'm stressed, I do poetry. But one thing that I know that will, will impact me positively, I think it will, to find someone that will help me face this situation and help me lose my weight. The teen years are supposed to be about socialization, independence, and personal development. Unfortunately, with teenagers who are obese, they're often deprived of this because their weight gets in the way. For Lalo, her relationship with her father is clearly an underlying issue that has left her feeling abandoned and unworthy. And she is filling her emotional needs with food. The pattern of her behavior must be broken, and that's going to take some work on the part of the whole family. <laughs> go mosa o lekola karolo e o a ibapala mogweng o lelo a jang ka wona le ka mo o ama maphelo a bona ka teng pharela e ama malapa a mangata a each one teach one la 
life. Life is not measured by the breaks we take, but it's measured by the moments that take our bread. For peace is what he who lives in harmony with himself lives in harmony with the world. As we live in this world, we have to accept anything that comes our way because what lies before us are tiny matters compared with lies within us. So let us be grateful to people who make us happy, for they are the charming goddess who make our souls blossom. Hi, Kumoso. Hello. How's your day going? Oh, it's good. Good. Um, we're here today to talk a little bit about Lelo and um, the challenges that she's been having with being overweight. Yeah. Uh, for you, how, how far back does this go? I don't really, I can't remember from when, but she grew up having weight. Yes. And I don't know, she grew up like that. She grew up like that. that. Yeah. So for you, she's always been um, chubby. Chubby, mm -hmm. okay. When she went to secondary, that's when it all began. You know, she, she would come home and tell me that, Mom, you know, today they said this and that about me. They called me a fat cake and they called me this and she would cry. It, it hurts, you know, seeing your daughter like that. Yes. You know, when she comes from school and she's, she's got these complaints, we wish to go there tomorrow and smack those children that are doing that to her. But then life goes on. How does it make you feel to, to see that she's now going through this in terms of her weight? It doesn't make me feel good. You know, I'd, I'd cook and then I'll try to put a small portion in her plate. But at the same time, again, I put extra, telling myself that, no, I'm punishing her if I do this. Let me put a little bit more. Yes. You know, maybe she won't be uh, hungry at yes. night because I'm, I'm scared that she'll wake up at night and go to the fridge and yes. find something to eat. But then it doesn't sit well with me, you know, because I, I'm, I'm working as a cook. Yes. So I love cooking. So there's always food in the fridge. Yes. You know, and she likes food. She won't eat dry bread, never. Just in terms of eating healthy and um, exercising. <laughs> we, we, yes. we did that, you know. She's got a rope. We'd come here in the stoop and we'd jump and she'd, she'd laugh at me, but then we'd jump and then we said, oh man, we are tired. We go in the house, we pour cold drink. That's the wrong thing to <laughs> the do. Wrong, <laughs> the worst thing you can do. <laughs> The That's what we do then. Okay. Poco drink, we sit down and say, no man, we're not going there. Ay, let's, let's go to bed. Let's go and sleep. Yes. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that uh, came up during my conversation with Lelo was uh, her father. Her father used to call her like almost uh, daily. Mm -hmm. And then they'd have this conversation, uh, loving daddy and daughter on the phone. And she'd ask for something and the father would promise her. And then the day would come for the father to deliver. Mm -hmm. And then he won't do that. She would cry and she'd go to the fridge and eat. And, you know, she'd stay alone in the dining. Yes. And it, it pains her a lot. Well, the reason why I bring it up with you now and, and before we actually have a chance to talk with her is because um, one of the things I want us to focus on mm -hmm. is how she can move beyond that. Yeah. Because what's going to be most helpful for her is you recognizing the importance of her losing this weight. Of her losing this weight. That's exactly it. Okay, so we're going to then uh, take the next step and we're going to have a conversation with her. Okay. Guilt is a very destructive emotion. Parents often try to make up for one thing with another. Mothers will often reward with food. In this case, Kamuso is attempting to make up for Lalo's father's absence by indulging her daughter, resulting in a cycle of behavior that is enabling her overeating. For a real change to take place, the whole family is going to have to take a look at what they need to change. 
particularly in their diet, in their daily routines, and in how they relate to each other. Professor Khalil Lelolo Homozo, but like Ali and Oleka Fidisa Moho on our Hoja. Never from Mana Moho or Nepa Heads in Wahoja, Leho Pil. Teen obesity is a global epidemic with long lasting repercussions for the teen, the family and society. Obese teens generally become obese adults with significant health issues. Issues including high blood pressure, diabetes, and heart disease. For Lalo and her mom, Kamuso, there has been a realization that Lalo's eating is emotionally based, and it's enabled by her family, a family who feels guilt and compassion over her absent father and peer bully. Despite their strong and loving relationship, mother and daughter have some hard decisions to make. Komoso, you said that uh, you and Lelo had been exercising. Mm -hmm. did, it, did it help at all? I don't think it worked, because we would exercise, I think, twice or three times a week and then we would give up or we'd go outside and exercise and then we'd come back inside the house and eat. You do know that it takes time. Um, you had said earlier you didn't even realize that how much weight you had gained at one point until someone brought it to your attention. So you gain the weight slowly over time and that's something that is going to have to be reversed over time. Also, you, you were saying that there's a lot of junk food. You, you eating a lot of junk food. Like during the holiday, during the Christmas season, did you, did you eat a lot of junk food? Oh, yes, we did. Had a lot of family members coming over and we bought all kinds of food, all kinds of fizzy drinks and chocolates and everything. So there's a lot of junk food for everybody. You were jumping rope, right? Yeah, I was jumping rope. Who, who, who's the best? Who, who can jump rope the best? I am. <laughs> <laughs> when we think about what it is that we can do that's going to help you, we've got to be very clear about what those things are. And the other side of it is, this is not going to go away by magic. It's not going to go away just because you say, I just want to pray I lose weight. The prayer is important and it's good, but it's not going to make you lose the weight. So if there's something that you have to do, and the fact that you have a supportive mother who will do some of it with you, she still can't do it for you. You know that? I know that. Okay. So when we talk about solutions, what we're really talking about is, what can you do? What is it that you know you can do? that would make a difference for you? Um, stop eating junk food. Great idea. What else could you do? Exercise more. Exercise Taking more. Walks. Taking walks. How can you support that Khumoso for, for her? I have to support her. I have to do my utmost best because she really needs to lose. It's affecting her, I can see that. Do you think you can change the way you eat? I think I can. You think you can? I think I can change the way I eat. Okay. Khamuso, do you think it's possible that you could maybe cook less fried foods? It is possible. Okay. Give me an example of, of what you could eat that would be, for you, healthier than what you're eating now. I think I would have to eat boiled veggies more than um, cook food cooked with oil and that. Um, drink more water than I, I do. Limit and fizzy drinks and, yeah. You sound like a dietitian. <laughs> <laughs> I read a lot. You read a lot. So, so you do read on diet and healthy foods and all of that? Yes, I do. 
There are many solutions for teenagers dealing with obesity. But the most important is when the discussion of food and their obese condition comes into play. It's important to be cautious about what you say and how you say it. Many times harping on the food issue will have a, a reverse effect and our teens will immediately go and eat more. Keep an open dialogue with your teen on the action plan and be open for suggestions. The more input that they offer, the better. Both mom and daughter know the issues and they know the answers. But they have a commitment that needs to be seen through. We had talked briefly about, uh, about your father and how you were uh, a bit upset with the situation with him, the relationship with him. But what I'm going to say to you, Lelo, is this is about you. It's about you taking care of yourself and recognizing that there's some things in life you cannot change. And I also want to mention that when we talk about the kids at school who, who may make uh, mean-spirited comments and all of that, you can't stop them from making comments or saying whatever because people can be mean sometimes. But what you can control is how you respond to it. And part of you figuring out a solution to help you be um, at least healthier on a daily basis is to figure out how you need to respond to situations without, in a positive way and without going to the place of wanting to eat. We want to turn that around. Does that make sense to you? It does make sense. Okay. We with Each One Teach One would like to leave you with a gift. Um, and this gift is a light. It's a, what we call a solar candle. Okay. In leaving you with this gift, we want it to be a symbol of hope. We want it to be um, something that you see as part of the commitment that you've made to doing some things differently. When you turn it on, I want you to recognize that it's also reflective of the fact that you're a light as well. And that the commitment that you're making is gonna light the way to you becoming a lawyer, you helping other people, and other people seeing an example in you. So I want you to think about what that would mean for you. Okay? Okay. Food should sustain us physically, but it should never become an emotional crutch. As hard as it would be for Lalo, she needs to take ownership for her unresolved issues with her father and stop using them as a reason to eat. Lalo is the only one who can do this, and she is working hard to change her eating patterns. Lalo took her own advice and found a workout buddy, a friend from the neighborhood, someone who was monitoring and mentoring her along her daily exercise routine. We will continue to monitor Lalo's progress as well and report back to you as she moves progressively towards her goal. I'm Khalil Osiris with Each One Teach One. Until next week, stay in the light.